Hey guys, so I'm watching the uh, uh, report on uh, internet about um, the coup that is going on. It's not really a coup. It's actually uh, literally a civil war at this point. Um, and I'm and I'm going to tell you that Fergosian was pretty darn smart. Um, he's going to try to paint himself out as a hero uh, to the Russian people. Um, he's going to try to make it out like he's stopping the madness of Putin. But but keep uh, keep in mind, this is a guy that waited. He's been planning this for a long, long time, and he waited until Russia has lost the majority of its fighting men in Ukraine. And his ranks, Prigozhin's ranks, are filled with battle-hardened veterans, uh, criminal elements, and uh, foreign private mercenaries. So he's got a, a huge ta pool of talent that, uh, that includes some of the worst scum uh, out there. So he is in no way a, a hero, or uh, he's in no way stopping uh, Putin. When he, if he manages to take control of uh, these places, um, it's not for the the good of the people. I'm sure um, he's been planning something for this for a while. Keep in mind about uh, what four or five months ago. Four months ago, Russia announced that they had transferred uh, nuclear weapons to Belarus. And uh, I believe that, I now I believe that that was done specifically to prevent uh, PMC Wagner from gaining control of tactical nuclear weapons. I think the next step that Putin's going to unleash um, out of desperation is that he's going to start nuking his own cities, his own positions, uh, to stop Wagner. Uh, I think that's the lengths that he's going to go. If that happens, I think uh, China will take over uh, Taiwan. They'll use that as a precursor to take over Taiwan. And eventually, uh, China is going to roll into Russia. Uh, I can see that once Russia has uh, depleted Wagner's forces and their own through continual fighting in Ukraine and the assault of the civil war against Wagner now, um, keep in mind from what we've been garnering, uh, a lot of the, in the first city that's been taken, Rostov on Don, uh, they've actually uh, uh, had federal uh, troops of the Russians uh, giving up and turning and, and joining to fight with the Wagner group. So he started this uh, uh, coup attempt uh, with about 25,000 troops, again, filled with uh, some pretty nasty people. And uh, as he's going along towards Moscow, he is marching on Moscow, uh, he's going to be uh, gaining more, more troops as he goes along. Uh, I believe the entire garrison at Rostov-on-Don has turned, uh, the ones that haven't been destroyed have been turned and are now uh, fighting with Wagner. Um, I guarantee the Americans are taking a very close eye on this, uh, as as this is exactly why I I don't okay I'm going to get off track for one second, but a lot of Americans probably don't know that the, uh, the reason the National Guards are out there are actually to prevent things like this happening, uh, or prevent the government, the central government, federal government from overreach and uh, uh, subjugating individual states. So individual states have the ability to pull up their, call up their own National Guard and defend themselves against federal uh, uh, overreach, federal abuse, federal whatever um, overall. And uh, that that's exactly what they are for. So the Americans are going to be watching this uh, situation, uh, the higher ups, and taking note. Um, they're going to be taking note about how uh, much loose, uh, how much control they have over their own uh, individual states, national guards, and uh, how much control uh, and and weapons and uh, uh, things that the American private national uh, private. PMCs, private military contractors such as Blackwater, uh, and 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 there's a bunch of others, uh, tons of them as a matter of fact in in the states, uh, private military contractors that have fair sized. Uh, 
numbers of private military contractors, uh, an army, if you will. There's a number of private armies here in America or uh, in uh, the West. Uh, so I, I guarantee you they're, they're watching out for this kind of thing. Um, I don't think it would ever happen in America. Uh, but they are definitely, definitely, I'm sure uh, there's a number of these private militias that are uh, definitely under the government watch uh, for just this kind of thing. Again, Prigozhin was so smart. He actually waited long enough that the majority of fighting men in Russia are now dead or engaged in Ukraine. And who are left, um, they're just surrendering to Wagner at this point when Wagner convoys are rolling into uh, areas. Um the, the information I've been watching is about six hours old right now, and they're already talking that these guys are well on their way to Moscow. And uh, Moscow, uh, Moscow region, uh, their equivalent of the National Guard has started setting up a defense of Moscow. Uh, so Wagner, this private military contract, a private army, has basically uh, disavowed the, the Russian defense ministry and said we're we are now at war with you guys don't don't resist we're now coming to arrest the leaders uh, of the Russian Ministry of Defense that have uh, in Prigozhin's words sentenced uh, hundreds of tens of thousands to, if not hundreds of thousands of uh, Russian troops to death in this invasion of uh, of Ukraine but uh, when you when it comes out on the major news I think it's only just coming out now but this coup has been going on underway for about over 18 hours right now since the initial uh, start of this uh, coup attempt which is now actually turned into a civil war because uh, f Russian federal troops are now actively engaging uh, Wagner group mercenaries and uh, the Wagner group uh, army is now marching on uh, Moscow. There are there's uh, reports of two two 20 mile convoys uh, of Russian armor of uh, PMC Wagner's uh, private military army heading towards Moscow, and Moscow is desperately starting to fortify uh, their city. But uh, it's it, it, once this hits the major news media, it's going to be pretty incredible. Uh, a civil war is now underway in Russia, and uh, they are in trouble. Um, they've already, I think they, like I say, I think they have already saw this coming as they transported a number of nukes uh, out of out of the area. Uh, peace, civilians that are in uh, cities in Russia are now fleeing, and they're still a hundreds, couple hundreds of miles away from these inbound private military contractor army, PMC Wagner. And uh, even though Wagner's still a couple hundred miles away, uh, cities are emptying out, and uh, Russian people are fleeing deeper into Russia uh, to avoid this incoming private military army uh, that's marching on uh on, on Moscow. So anyway, I wanted to give you my thoughts uh, on what's happened and what is happening and why it is happening. Um, I have no doubt that Putin would, would, would nuke his own cities to stop this advance. I have no doubt at all that he would use this as a precursor to use his tactical nukes. And here's the thing. NATO and the world can't get involved if he's nuking his own people. I assume that we would eventually, or someone would, but I don't know if we would even have the legal right to. There's no way to invoke Article 5. What I do know is if he starts nuking his own cities to stop uh, the advance of PMC Wagner uh, and Prigozhin, um, I'm hoping that the rest of the 100 million uh, Russians uh, will, will just overthrow Putin right on the spot but uh, hopefully that, that it doesn't come to that and there's no uh, release of nuclear weapons even in even in Russia uh, as much as of course we can would like to hate the Russians uh, it of course is the Russian military it's the Russian higher-ups and the and the and the politico of Russia that has pulled off uh, this past uh, year and a half of, of uh, terror in Ukraine. And uh, the majority of the Russian people, I have to imagine, are viewing this all with, 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 with horror. And uh, um, 
and that not all Russians are bad and that all Russians feel the same way as uh, Putin, of course. Uh, Prigozhin, um, in a statement uh, on behalf of PMC Wagner, has disclosed that uh, the majority, like the West already knew, but the majority of the reasons why uh, they were given to the Russian people uh, to go to war with Ukraine were all based on lies. Um, and uh, keep in mind, Russia, it doesn't have CNN. They don't have, well, they must have some, but it's all internet-based type thing. But the, 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 the news stations and uh, uh, the, 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 the Russian propaganda is, has all along been telling the Russian people that it's been... Um, uh, that it's been Nazis in Ukraine, that it's been uh, war crimes committed by Ukraine against Russian people in uh, Russian-occupied territory in Ukraine, that kind of thing. So, And it's all turned, of course, we knew that, but uh, I, I think now the Russian people are beginning to realize that Putin has led them down uh, such a devastating and despicable path, path that... Uh, in their eyes, and I'm hoping this doesn't happen, but in their eyes, they're going to welcome the fact that Prigozhin and this uh, PMC army is, is, is trying to stop Putin. And I'm afraid that uh, they're going to view this as uh, Prigozhin being the hero uh, and, and welcoming him with open arms, not realizing that by this point, his ranks are all filled with, with criminals, with uh, lunatics that were escaped from, uh, uh, released from facilities as long as they promised to fight for Wagner. Uh, it's filled with the ranks with, with not nice people. And I don't want the world to get fooled into thinking that this uh, uh, Prigozhin and his uh, PMC Wagner group are uh, in any way heroes. They are nasty, nasty people. And uh, I think Russia is in a fight for its life right now. And, um, and I'm a bit scared on how far uh, they're willing to take it to stop this takeover. Uh, and if they're willing to start nuking their own people. I um, I also think it's possible one other scenario I can see you doing them doing is Putin tactically nuclear striking uh, PMC Wagner and claiming that PMC Wagner uh, somehow gained control of a nuke and uh, tried to attack Russia and they, he will use that as a precursor, as an excuse uh, to start using tactical nukes on a more widespread uh, scale against his own people. Well. When I say against his own people, uh, the forces that are turning against him uh, within his own armed forces, and of course the PMC Wagner. Um, if, say, for example, Rasta von Don gets nuked, uh, he will claim that it was the Wagner forces that got control of one of these and detonated it. Uh, and but again, he'll use that as an excuse to start nuking other positions of Wagner. Uh, earlier on this morning, uh, late last night, the Russian Ministry of Defense Forces actually, uh, deep inside Russia, uh, artillery struck uh, Wagner camps. Um, they actually killed a, a fair number of Wagner forces uh, who were unprepared for this attack. Uh, and they were hit in their own home bases deep inside Russia by Ministry of Defense artillery and airstrikes. Um, it was at that point that uh, Wagner chief, the head of Wagner, Prigozhin, started uh, announcing his plans to stop the evil powers that be that are killing all the Russians. Uh, he's, of course, meaning Putin and the Ministry of Defense henchmen. And... Um, now what's happening is uh, he's going to Moscow to arrest these people. He's left, left in his manifesto. He stated he's going to roll over any checkpoints. Uh, he stated to the uh, federal forces, "Don't resist. If you do, we will just destroy anything in our path. We will destroy any aviation that we see over our heads. Uh, but we're coming. We're coming to Moscow and." Uh, and uh, it looks to me from what I've been watching that Russia is in trouble. Definitely, definitely in trouble. Um, let me show you one last thing before I let you guys go. Uh, this is the numbers uh, from what I've been watching. This is the numbers of the losses that Russia has taken.
Oh, crap. You can't see that. Anyway, uh, we're looking at over almost a quarter million troops, uh, 8,000 APVs, over 4,000 tanks, over 7,000 uh, fuel vehicles and fuel trucks and uh, supply vehicles, uh, over 4,000 artillery systems, over 3,500 drones, uh, over 600 missile systems, over 300 uh, military planes, over 300 helicopters, over 1,200 cruise missile systems, uh, over 380 anti-aircraft warfare systems, over 540 special equipment, and over 18 boats. And that's since the uh, beginning of this uh, the, the, the war. Um, so Russia is in, in real deep trouble. And uh, I think if uh, Wagner actually does, in, uh, does succeed in the civil, civil war and a change of government, it is not going to be good for the Russian people. Uh, they are in no way getting rescued. Uh, this Prigozhin is not a nice person. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to give you guys uh, my thoughts on what's been happening um, I noticed that it's not making many of the, the, the news mainstream. Um, all of these reports that I'm watching, uh, I've just, I'm about halfway through a four hour, uh, report that, that I've been watching. Um, and so this is only half of, uh, what I've been relayed, uh, through this channel that's operating right out of Russia. So, uh, and they're collecting and collating video clips and, uh, uh, info from people who are actually in these cities, um, that are now, uh, encountering, uh, actual gunfights and firefights between federal forces, federal Russian army, federal forces, uh, and the, uh, PMC Wagner, uh, and Prigozhin's groups. Remember, before this coup attempt, this, this coup attempt, which has turned into a civil war, uh, actually happened, um, Wagner forces were all over, uh, Western Russia, all over Western Russia and almost some of the central Russian uh, uh, areas. Uh, these guys were in 24 hours ago, uh, were caught on video, some of these tr troops saying goodbye to their families. So they knew the Wagner Prigozhin, uh, I think, orchestrated and had this plan for a long time. Um, probably at least a quarter of the way into the war, he realized that all he has to do is let Russia deplete its forces, deplete all of its fighting men. Uh, remember, there's been, I think, two conscription calls from Russia uh, since the war began, meaning um, the majority of fighting men fit to serve and fit to actually uh, battle and uh, that have had military experience previously, they're all dead. The, the Russians' National Guards are using, uh, and the Russian Federal Forces uh, that are protecting the inner cities, Moscow, Leningrad, St. Petersburg, uh, Rostov on Don, all of these guys are uh, new recruits, old men, uh, yeah, very, very young, young soldiers that are, are highly inexperienced. Um, that I think that's a large reason why, uh, for example, in Rostov on Don, which is one the first major city that has fallen to PMC Wagner. Uh, its garrison actually surrendered. Not only surrendered, but they started, uh, they joined Prigozhin. And if this is a precedent set by the advance of Prigozhin's troops towards Moscow, then I can foresee by the time he reaches Moscow, he's not going to have just 25,000 men. He's going to have probably 50,000, 60,000, 80,000. Uh, we've actually actively seen um, firefights as he's going along between uh, Russian federal supporters and federal troops and the PMC Wagner troops. Um, like I say, two 20-mile convoys are now currently heading to Moscow, and this information again is about four to eight hours old uh, that we've been watching. Um, so it is an ongoing thing right now. Right now, at this moment, there is a civil war going on in Russia. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I'll keep you guys, uh, I'll give another one of these up, uh, uh, updates, I guess. Uh, if you guys want to hear it, leave in the comments if you like this. Uh, and if I was concise and gave enough information uh, to you to get a clear picture of what's happening in Russia. Don't take just my word for it. Uh, YouTube has tons of channels that are covering it from inside Russia. And... Uh, uh, there's probably a number of news sites that are also covering this through independent journalists, independent reporters, people on the scene that are actually in Russia. Um, oh, one last thing. The, the PMC Wagner group that is now rolling in towards Moscow and uh, we've got footage of, of them going through towns and cities unopposed, un not a shot fired. Uh, Rostov on Don actually uh, fell without, without, I think there was some very minor uh, gunfights in some areas of the city. Uh, but for the most part, I believe they're setting up to, uh, if it hasn't already happened, uh, to take the government offices in Rostov-on-Don. But the outer forces uh, seemingly gave up without a shot or joined the PMC Wagner forces. Uh, PMC Wagner forces are now not flying their uh, PMC Wagner group banners and flags. They are now actually flying Russian Federation flags. So as they are rolling in through these streets and as they are uh, engaging with these federal forces, um, to the outsiders, to citizens that are filming, to people who are watching these footages, uh, it's a well-equipped, well uh, well equipped and well well run Wagner group against uh, old young federal forces uh, that are are inexperienced and have outdated weapons and have uh, not the best armor and not the best stuff that they've been given um, so at this point it looks to me very one sided um, what Wagner does not have although they've been seemingly uh, going unopposed to this is airplanes and uh, jets, fighter, military fighter jets. Uh, if they do have them, they're very short supply or uh, he's had got them stashed somewhere else where he's not willing to give them up to the Russian Federal uh, Air Force. Um, so Wagner doesn't have any air support, but they are going unopposed. And apparently they've been shooting down um, any uh, air. Uh, we, I saw a video of two at least two helicopters that have been downed by Wagner um, and they are they have like I say been in direct firefights with federal forces so see you guys on the next one thanks for watching I kind of rambled on a little bit but uh, I, I apologize I hope I've been uh, concise and uh, verbose enough that I am able to uh, elucidate clearly to you the situation that's going on in Russia thank you so much for watching leave a like I know I've got uh, a lot of viewers that haven't subscribed if you could subscribe it really helps YouTube and the algorithm and get my channel out there and uh, give you guys more entertainment and get more people joining on uh, on board on the channel thanks again for watching I'll see you guys on the next one